No flips, Byron. Just this. Tag team specialists. There may not be a better team in all of WWE right now than Dawson and Wilder. Great tag teams are on the same page. These two are in the same syllable. Like you and I, Corey. What about me? What about you? You know, as the Miz Taraj, they were pretty cool hanging out with the Miz. And but as the B team, man, they picked things up. Listen, it's not about how the world sees you, it's how you see yourself, and the B team sees themselves as the best. I think these two are ungrateful. And they should be embarrassed to show their faces after betraying The Miz, who benefited them like no one else in their careers. Oh, stop being a jealous Judy. Jealous Judy. You've actually outdone yourself. <laughs> On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 446 pounds, Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson. The Revival! And their opponents, at a combined weight of 462 pounds, they are the Raw Tag Team Champions, Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel, the B Team! Stay tuned. And we're now underway with this huge tag team match. Ugh. All the budding tag teams out there oh, man. hoping to one day make... Now that got those shoulders on the mat. And that was only a one. Gonna take more than that. Nailed it. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Oh, right to the back. Shoulders on the mat. And there's the kick out. Wilder kicks out because he still has more fists to deliver. Oh, what a slam that hurt! For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two... ...referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. Scoop slam! Oh, nasty impact.
The biggest thing an opponent has to be aware of when they lock up with Bo Dallas is falling under an immediate attack. The Bo Leave in Bo spirit has consumed Bo Dallas, and this man is more ferocious than ever. technique the Bo Dallas we see now is much different than the individual who debuted in WWE in 2014 for someone challenging Bo Dallas today they need to be ready to square off against a vicious individual what Bo Dallas has shown us is that he's willing to take out anyone at any time an opponent must be ready for anything once they've been identified as Dallas's opponent I mean before they even get in the ring Watch this. Oh, oh, what a slam. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown tag team champions were crowned. And he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, impactful slam. Ooh. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Ouch. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected. Axel with a snap mare, just like Daddy used to do. Oh, incredible. What's he gonna do now? Into the quick cover. And he breaks up the pinfall. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. You can't let someone as talented and versatile. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Falcon Arrow. Ooh, what in? He's got the shoulders down. And Dash Wilder kicks out. Way too early. When a third-generation superstar like Curtis Axel starts to settle into a groove offensively, it means that you're in for a long night. If Axel starts landing the heavy offense, it could be over in a hole. An opponent can't... Wilder's looking to finish this! The challenger not looking good right now. The challenger's hopes of becoming champion appear to be in serious jeopardy right now. Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Bulldog. No person could take much more of this, and Dash Wilder is not looking good. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner locked up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. What are they going to do here? Closing moments, maybe this match. Harsh impact. Wilder looking in control here. That is, he goes for the cover. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated by an opponent. In a tag match, when a superstar tags their partner, the person who tagged out has until the referee's count of five to exit the ring. For a tag to be considered legal, both of the superstars' feet have to be on the apron. The partner must be touching the tag rope in the corner. Both team members must touch, and the referee must see the tag be made. The biggest thing an opponent has to be aware of when they lock up with Bo Dallas is falling under an immediate attack. The Bo Leave in Bo spirit has consumed Bo Dallas, and this man is more ferocious than ever. Oh, and he's taken off his feet. I'll tell you, he can't afford to be horizontal at this point in the match, Cole. The Bo Dallas we see now is much different than the individual who debuted in WWE in 2014. For someone challenging Bo Dallas today, they need to be ready to square off against a vicious individual. Boom! Dawson takes out the knee. Uh-oh. Don't be surprised if you crown a new champ here. Leg drop! Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. Throwback like Dawson's way too tough not to kick out. Counter here. I don't know where he gets the energy, but it seems endless right now. He's got a 
boatload of energy. See if it lasts. Here he goes. That was the boat dazzler. We might be looking at a Bo Dallas victory here. Here's the pin title on the line. Here we go. Two. Looking to catch him off guard there, I guess. No, throwback like Dawson's way too tough not to kick out. right now. I mean, guys, has Dawson ever truly produced an end result? He's going for the pen. And he stops the count. Lucky him. At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one. Be quickly into the cover with the title on the line. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Too soon. Tag, and here comes his partner. And this is not going to be good for their opponent. Oh, up and down. It's not Scott Dawson's night, guys. It's just not. Took him out at the knee. Can he score the pin? Tag teams always entertain, but the entertainment on that one was off the charts. That's the kind of match that makes me proud to be here at ringside. Action from the opening bell and a finish people won't soon forget. That's what I love about the WWE, a match that lives up to expectations, but still finds a way to surprise us. Good stuff. these guys choose to stay together, they have all the makings of being one of the best duos WWE has ever seen. Well, that was indeed a great match, and I think it's worth emphasizing how huge this victory is.